Safeguarding prevents access to dangerous moving parts in machinery. Failure to implement safeguarding on this potato harvester cost a farm worker her forearm. The farm used an old potato harvester pulled by a tractor and powered through the power takeoff. One worker stood on each side of the harvester to remove potato tops and potatoes from the conveyor, while two more workers on the back collected potatoes, putting them into a bucket. A fifth worker followed and picked up any potatoes left on the ground. It was cold the day of the incident. Worker one wore two pairs of gloves, an inner knitted pair and an outer pair with rubberized palms. She had reported to the farmer that the outer pair was too large. Smaller gloves had been ordered, but had not yet arrived. Four workers were on the harvester. Workers one and two were on the back picking potatoes off the moving conveyor. A potato fell to the bottom part of the conveyor. When worker one reached in to retrieve it, her glove got caught in the conveyor. She couldn't remove her hand from the glove. Workers one and two called the farmer to stop the machine. He did, but with the stored energy, the conveyor kept moving. Worker one's arm became entangled between the conveyor and a steel sprocket. 911 was called. The local fire chief arrived and called in another fire department, which had training in extricating people from farm machinery. Eventually, the worker was freed, but the injuries would result in the amputation of her forearm. It took one and a half hours after the initial 911 call before the worker arrived at the hospital. Employers, including farms, must keep up-to-date written procedures for providing first aid and for arranging emergency transport. The primary cause of this accident was the failure to have adequate safeguarding. If you examine the equipment, you can see numerous components that could catch body parts and cause injury. Lack of training, instruction, and supervision also contributed to this accident. The farmer didn't have the training to recognize hazards nor adequate knowledge of the safety requirements for the workplace. As a result, the workers weren't given the training or supervision necessary to ensure their safety. The gloves were also a factor. Too big, they increased the chance of getting caught in machinery. Wearing the second pair of gloves likely made it more difficult for worker one to free her hand once it was caught. Hundreds of farm workers are caught in or entangled with farm machinery in Canada every year. Prevent injuries on your farm. Know when and where to use safeguarding.